one million dollar teaching prize awarded to Kenyan teacher who gives salary away to the poor teachers dedicate their careers and much of their lives to their students the never-ending job is demanding challenging and is often thankless yet teachers cling to the hope that education will inspire future generations to better themselves and the planet for years one teacher from a remote village in Kenya has completely devoted his life to his job as a teacher and has made huge sacrifices for his students in 2019 his hard work was finally recognized and he was granted an award that could finally make his dreams a reality for his students family tragedy when Peter Tabichi, a 36 year old teacher from Kenya was just 11 years old his family suffered a tragedy when his mother passed away as a result Tabichi's dad was left on his own to juggle his responsibilities as a primary school teacher and a single father an inspiration Tabichi's father raised the then 11 year old and his siblings all on his own according to Tabichi his father's strength dedication and faith inspired him in ways that would stay with him for the rest of his life as he got older Tabichi decided to do everything in his power to help and instill strength in others a life mission as an adult Tabichi decided to devote his life to service and helping others by becoming a Franciscan monk a member of the Catholic religious order founded by st. Francis of Assisi however he also got a job as a teacher at a local school and he knew helping the youth would inspire the most change making a difference according to Tabichi his father uncle and cousins have all worked as teachers he could see that his relatives were making a real difference in people's lives and wanted to do the same so for the past 12 years Tabichi worked as a math and science teacher in the hopes that his lessons would give students a chance to improve their situations a challenging job however working at the Carico mixed day secondary school in Pwani village in Nakuru Kenya has not been easy the remote village and the school experience unique challenges and obstacles that have forced Tabichi to find unique solutions for his students the school according to Tabichi this government-run school only has one computer and unreliable internet access as a result Tabichi often is forced to travel to a cyber cafe to download resources for his science class the school also has no library or laboratory overcrowded and understaffed to make matters worse there are not enough books for all the students and the school is desperately in need of more teachers the teachers that do work in the school then struggle with overcrowded classrooms instead of 30 to 40 children per classroom teachers are forced to teach groups of 70 to 80 kids at a time external challenges not only is this a burden on teachers but the students aren't able to get the attention and guidance that they need to thrive unfortunately the school facilities aren't the students only concerns the semi-arid village experience droughts and famines regularly learning in poverty the school is in a very remote area most of the students come from very poor families even affording breakfast is hard they're not able to concentrate because they haven't had enough meals at home Tabichi told the Varki Foundation about his students fighting food insecurity to help Tabichi also teaches students and locals about famine resistant crops food insecurity is a major problem so teaching new ways of farming is a matter of life and death said Tabichi on the other hand the rainy season also makes it impossible for students to walk more than four miles to school as the unsafe roads flood a never-ending job so Tabichi spends most of his time outside the classroom working on ways to keep kids in school when the 36 year old gets the feeling that a student is at risk of dropping out he works to persuade families to put more value in education according to Tabichi this is a regular issue with families that expect their daughters to drop out of school and get married at a young age not about money at times whenever I reflect on the challenges they face I shed tears Tabichi said about his students in a statement reported by the Associated Press 
To help those in poverty afford food, uniforms, and books, Tabichi also gives away 80% of his salary. It's not all about the money. Making a positive impact Despite all the obstacles he faces, Tabichi is credited for improving the school and keeping much of the village's youth in school. He's also managed to implement science clubs, added food and security issues, and helped bring peace between several ethnic groups and religions. Surviving and Thriving Thanks to his tireless work, these students have excelled. In recent years, students have won national and international science competitions, like the United Kingdom's Royal Society of Chemistry, for creating a device that harnesses plant life to generate electricity. The Global Teacher Prize In March of 2019, Tabichi's work was finally acknowledged when he was voted the best teacher in the world out of 10,000 applicants and won Varki Foundation's Global Teacher Prize of $1 million. I feel great. I can't believe it. I feel so happy to be among the best teachers in the world, being the best in the world," Tabichi told the Associated Press after his win at a ceremony in Dubai hosted by Hugh Jackman. Life-changing money Tabichi plans to use the prize money to improve the school and feed the poor. He also hopes his accomplishment will inspire others to push past all the obstacles. As a teacher working on the front line, I have seen the promise of its young people. Their curiosity, talent, their intelligence, their belief," Tabichi told the BBC. Future Leaders Africa's young people will no longer be held back by low expectations. Africa will produce scientists, engineers, entrepreneurs whose names will one day be famous in every corner of the world. And girls will be a huge part of this story," Tabichi said. I appreciate this recognition on behalf of all hard-working teachers throughout the world. Africa's time I'm only here because of what my students have achieved this prize gives them a chance It tells the world that they can do anything Africa's young people will no longer be held back by low expectations to said while receiving his award It's morning in Africa. The skies are clear. The day is young and there's a blank page waiting to be written This is Africa's time Check out these other videos from Let Me Know. If you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel, all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching.